organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. And hello, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. It is a Monday, and let me tell you, in some of our area right now, it is coming down with the rain. It absolutely wow. is. But I will say the weekend was beautiful. Did you oh, have a good well, one? I had a great weekend. Car show was good. good. Car show, everything was super. Fantastic. Yeah. We've got a great show, too. Lots of really cool things going on, but first, we've got to check on the weather. Happy Monday to you. Let's go ahead and look at the latest warnings across our area. We have quite a, a few, actually six counties and a flash flood warning all expiring at different times. We'll go ahead and start with Georgetown and Williamsburg. This was until about 12 o'clock, but this got extended now expiring at 215. Still very heavy downpours coming across the Georgetown and Williamsburg County area, even heading across the PD D counties like Darlington, Dillon, Florence and Marlboro County. This flood warning is in effect until one. 30. So very heavy downpours, but the good news is we're really not dealing with much in terms of severe weather. Just very heavy rain. One of the heaviest bands setting up just in the counties of Williamsburg and Georgetown. Really Andrews. Check that out. This is over the last about eight hours, seven and a half inches of rain in that short amount of time. But some areas I was talking to somebody that was near the Conway area, just about one inch. So this is very isolated in terms of who's getting the heaviest rainfall. And again, not a lot of severe weather with this. That potential is there. It is just very, very low. So we'll continue to monitor any risk for thunderstorms that could potentially produce some damaging winds and that isolated, very, very low risk for a tornado. Let's go ahead and talk about future cast though. As we head through the noon hour, still dealing with a lot of this precipitation, though the threat for any flash flooding has really shifted across the PD and along the border belt. The Grand Strand, if you haven't seen any rain, well, heads up, it will be heading your way late afternoon, heading into the early evening hours. Bye about four or five o'clock. That's when this area starts to shift a, shift a little bit to the north and east. So heads up Horry County, you will be seeing some of these showers as well. Heading into the evening commuting hours. So this morning was a messy one this afternoon and heading into the evening as well. Still looking at very heavy rainfall across our area until this low can finally move away. But by 10, 11 o'clock, we're still going to be dealing with quite a bit of heavy rainfall acro across our region, but becoming a little bit more numerous rather than widespread. Here's your Grand Strand seven day forecast 74 over the next couple of days. We'll start to dry out by the second half of the day on Tuesday, but really start to see more in the ways of sunshine by Wednesday and heading through the remainder of the work week. Your inland seven day forecast 73 for your Monday, of course, holding on to that precipitation across the PD and along the border belt, increasing those temperatures well into the 80s by Wednesday, just nearing 90 degrees as we head through Friday and into the upcoming weekend. Weather is brought to you by a and I fire and water restoration. Hey guys, welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We've got a lot of stuff to talk about today before we get our show started. The first one, Volkswagen of Florence. Volkswagen of Florence is where my car is from. My family and I are in a Volkswagen Touring. It's the larger of the SUVs. The little bit smaller one is the Volkswagen Tiguan. Either one, very safe family vehicles. Also, lots of cars and sedans and a Beetle convertible, if you like that, for the summertime. Go down and see John and the guys at Volkswagen of Florence. That's Mike Rickenbaugh right there on Coit Street. They're wonderful. They will take great care of you. There's a ton of cars on the lot and that's where you need to go Volkswagen very safe very dependable great cars go check them out Volkswagen of Florence or Volkswagen of Florence.com all right let's talk about something coming up now Wednesday April 26 uh, I want to tell you about it it's the 11th annual all aboard kids charity auction for the boys and girls club the event will be held at the Hard Rock Cafe at Broadway at the beach and the event is $100 a couple. It runs from 6 until 9.30. There will be a silent auction, live auction. Go by and take advantage of this and help the Boys and Girls Club in this fundraiser they've That's got right. going we've on. Got, yeah, we've got a table for the station out That's there. Right. That's Coming right. Coming up on Wednesday. All, All right. right, let's check it out. Today's Monday, April 24th, and this is Pig in the Blanket Day. Pig in a Blanket. Do you like Pig in a Blanket? Yeah. Me too. 
It's no, food, right? It is. It's good food. <laughs> <laughs> it's also Be Kind to Animals Week, and I feel like that should just be every day. So. That's right. Birthdays today. Let's go back to 1934. There she is, Shirley MacLaine. She's 83 years old, an Academy Award uh, winner for Terms of Endowment. Also an Emmy winner for Gypsy in My Soul. All right, 1942, Barbara Streisand, she is 75 years old, sold 245 million records, won 10 Grammys, an Academy Award for Funny Girl. She was Best Actress. Yes, how about that? All right, 1982, Kelly Clarkson, 35, pop singer, American Idol. Uh, winner, A Moment Like This, Song of the Year in 2002. First ever American Idol, she was the winner. Do you remember right. that? Do you remember yeah, watching remember. it? I watch it all the time. <laughs> all right, today in history, let's look at today in history. It's 1974, David Bowie released Diamond Dogs. That's right. In 2000, ABC TV released the TV movie, The Three Stooges. Great show. That's right. All right, let's find out about the know-it-all department where you learn something every day. This is it. Listen up. Okay, for all of you that like to eat a lot of different things, you, you need to be aware of this, okay? If you eat a lot of different things. That would be me. Apparently... <laughs> If you eat a polar bear's liver, you will die of a vitamin overdose. There's no chance of me dying from an overdose of vitamin. Okay. If you eat a, you know, a polar, did it even so serve polar bear's liver? I don't liver? think so. But it, where'd that come from? The internet. All right. Well, I guess it's true. That's it's all always I got. true. <laughs> Maybe it's a delicacy. Do you think? I don't know. We've got I'm a not chef idiot. on the I'm show. Not Maybe idiot. he can tell us in a little while. I <laughs> That's have no it. Idea. From the Know It All Department today. We got a great show lined up. <laughs> Stay with us. See you in a second. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, Palmetto Day of Giving is coming up on May 2nd. We're going to find out a little bit more about how you can give. That's right. So charities all over, you'll be able to donate and uh, make a donation, too. And I'm, we're talking about today the Children's Recovery Center, which I'm lucky enough to be a member of that on that. Right. And let me tell you, they do a lot. They deal with neglected and abused kids in Georgetown and Norrie County. Louise is with us now and talk about how important this is the Palmetto Day of Giving. Um, the Palmetto Day of Giving is so important for, um, for not just for the Children's Recovery Center, but for all the charities participating. Um, it, you know, we all, we all know that we're, we're better together. When we collaborate, you know, it's a better outcome for all the children and people we serve in Georgetown County. So um, the Children's Recovery Center, along with 33 of our nonprofit friends in Georgetown, um, are teaming up. The Benell Foundation is being kind enough to sponsor us. Um, so on the day of giving, when you go to www.palmettogivingday.org, you'll be able to choose your charity. The Children's Recovery Center will be among one of the charities you can choose, as well as other charities. Um, most of us have been offered matching donations. The Children's Recovery Center oh, has. Fantastic. Yeah. So, you know, if, if we make so much online that day, then, um, you know, we will be given matching funds at the end of the day. All right. Now, um, it's May 2nd. It's only that day. It's only that day. It's from 12.01 uh, a.m. until 11.59 p.m. There it is right there. That's where you go to now. Louise, talk a little bit about the Children's Recovery Center and what we do. Okay. Okay, the Children's Recovery Center is the Children's Advocacy Center for Ori and Georgetown counties. Uh, we help children who are uh, victims of physical abuse, sexual abuse, and other kinds of maltreatment. And we see over 300 children a year. Ooh. And it takes and a lot of money. It to does do this. take a lot of money. And it takes a lot of people. It takes a lot of our community partners all working together. Um, we like to say it takes a village to help the kids at the Children's Recovery Center, and it, it certainly does. So um, we offer forensic interviews, advocacy, and physical exams for children. Okay, and I mean, you guys are their voice. A lot of times children are, are not given a voice in society, especially in a situation like this. That's, that's right. where you step in. That's, that's right, that's right. We try to give children a voice so they can talk about the, you know, the terrible trauma they've endured and, you know, be on their way to healing. Now, when you're talking about money, it takes a lot of money. Yearly, roughly, what kind of budget? Uh, for the Children's Recovery Center, we have a budget this year of $440,000 a year. Wow. So, um, you know, and we see over 300 kids. It, uh, we never charge anyone at the Children's Recovery Center yeah. for uh, a physical exam or a forensic interview. So, um, you know, our, our fundraising and grants, and it's Goes all very all important. It. Yes. Yeah, very Don't forget, there it is right there in front right. of you. Make sure you write that down, and on May 2nd, you call up and check out the charities and yep. make a choice. And That's, right. Okay. That's right. That's right. Fantastic. We'll be back. Welcome back to Carolina Company Live. All right, coming up now, we've got the Handlebars 
under the stars. Now, this is a fundraiser, uh, of course, from a cloud hospital, and we're going to find out a little bit more about it. We sure are. We have Jen and Robbie with us. All right, Jen, what's this all about? So this is our third time bringing this ride back. It's kind of back by popular demand. It is our nighttime glow ride. It's super exciting. We actually go through the stops, collect glow materials as we ride throughout the Grand Strand, um, and all of the proceeds benefit McLeod Children's Hospital. How cool awesome. is that? So you guys are all riding, and you're all glowing as you're riding. Yes. Down the road. Yep. All That's right, awesome. This is sponsored by Harley. Now, Robbie, where's all this going to start? Uh, it's going to start at Myrtle Beach Harley. Uh, registration from 5 30 to 7. Uh, kick stands up at 7 o'clock. Then we're going to go to. Um, <laughs> yeah, look at them there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we're going to go to Boathouse, hang out there for a little while. Then we're going to go to Indigo Creek. Um, and then to Wicked Tuna is the final stop. We're going to announce winners of the, some of the prizes, raffles. The, like the brightest glow guy that was on there. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's always a fun run. It's the third one. It, it's a it's a really great time. Well, and you said back kind of by popular demand. So you expect a lot of riders? Yep, yep. And actually, as I just said, that we're going to have 80 degree weather. Um, yeah. I think we're going to have a lot of riders oh. this year. We're probably going to, we're going to hope for around the two to 250 riders this year. So That's it should amazing. be wow. a good turnout. Each year it keeps growing and growing. Um, and the first 200 riders receive a free t-shirt on this event. So it's a more draw to get there early, grab some food, get your t-shirts, get registered. Um, should have a good turnout, hopefully. Right, now, what's, how much it cost to run in this? So it's $20 a rider right? and then $10 a passenger. Okay. And again, all that goes to McLeod Children's Hospital. That's nothing. What I mean, a fun event and a fun cause. You know, I mean, a good cause to go to. Like, why Absolutely. not, right? Yep, we got a ton of community sponsors helping us out with that. Lots of local partners. Tons of raffle giveaways, prizes for everybody that's joining in. And then, like we said, t-shirts and glow collecting the whole ride. So it's well, a pretty any good ride. Day, <laughs> any day riding a bike is better than working. That's right. That's, that's what I'm looking at here. But this is fun thing. Do you know what y'all raised last year? I Did know we, you're going to say no. I right. think we were at a little over 2,000. Oh, yeah, 2,000? Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah, that's good. A lot yeah. of people ask, they don't know, they can't remember. I can't remember. But that's good. So this year you're hoping for at least double that, Oh, we'll, we'll double it. You're going to double it this yeah. year? Especially with the weather being beautiful and everybody's yeah. wanting it. I mean, yeah. spring is here and everybody's excited yeah. about Tell it. Tell them what so, kind of bike you fantastic. got, Robbie. I've got an 08 Harley Ultra. All right. <laughs> oh, well, don't forget to check it out. <laughs> Find out handlebars. Let me make sure. Handlebars under the stars. Yep, April 29th, starting at? That's Saturday. Myrtle Beach, Harley. Absolutely. Perfect. Be there. That's right. Thank you both. Thank you. We Thank you for having it. us. Okay. All right. Hang on. We got a lot more coming up. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back. The Little River United Methodist Church is having a community fair coming up Saturday. Lots of stuff happening Saturday. This is one you want to be a part of. That's right. The life center of the, uh, the in the life center of the church too is where it's going to be held. Right. You got free screening, blood prayer. What all is going on? Sherry's with us. Tell us about it, Sherry. We. Um, we're running um, a health fair from 10 to 2 on Saturday, the 29th. Um, it's at the church. Uh, the address is the corner of Highway 17 and Mineola Avenue. We have approximately 50 vendors that are going to be doing various health screens from vision. We've got the Lions Club doing vision. We've got another company doing hearing testing. We have fitness experts. We have nutrition people that will you know, advise for nutrition, diet. Um, Counseling groups for mental health issues, um, just about anything you can think of. All right, now is this free? Is, is everything free? Yes, it's free and it's open to the community. Um, it's a community outreach trying to uh, provide things for people in the community that might not know about them hmm. or know where to find or access these types of um, services and also to benefit community people who may not be able to afford to get that information yeah. any other way. And, and this kind of stuff is so important. There are a lot of people who can't afford it and they or they might not know about it and this is something it's a great opportunity for them to come and get care. Yeah we, we did this um, approximately two years ago we had a health fair and it was very successful. Uh, a lot of people came, a lot of people got some really good information that they could take home with them. Well, you do your blood pressure, eye exam, you know, hearing. That's right. Everything, yeah. which a lot of people will, well, I'll go later, I'll go later, or they can't afford it. But this gives them opportunity to get all that checked out, get right? Get it all right. done in one day. Right. <laughs> yeah. Pretty hard to find 50 vendors under one roof anywhere else. What time's it starting? It starts at 10 and it goes till 2. 10 to 2, and that's going to be on Saturday. And give us the address one more time. Um, it's right on the corner of Highway 17 and Mineola Avenue in Little River. Okay. 
Okay, and so y'all do a, the Little River United Methodist Church is always doing something. Yes. Y'all always got some kind of community involvement. Yeah, it's a busy church. We have um, exercise programs that go on in the church four days a week, and um, we have um, things for the seniors of the church. We have an active youth group. It's a very busy church. Well, Fantastic. we thank you for being here. We thank do. You so thank much. you so much, Sherry. My pleasure. We appreciate thank it. You. Okay. All right, we'll be back. Guess what? Sushi is on its way. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. All right, we're talking right now about a sushi chef. He's down on my end of the beach at a restaurant called Octopi, but what he's done is taken sushi and made it to look like different kinds of food. I've got Will with me right now. Okay, Will, these are sushi donuts, which I think are so cool. Tell us, sushi. first of all, let's talk about what the sushi donuts are, and I want to talk a little bit about you and how you got started in sushi. Basically, the donut is just a mold of rice, and then I take spicy tuna or spicy crab and put it in the middle. Okay. And then you just top it with whatever fish you would like, kind of like a rainbow roll, or this one's kind of like a Philly roll. Yeah, look at that. And yeah. avocado, you could do strips of cucumber, you can put radish on top, however you would like to do it. So it, okay. it so really, it's it can be custom, yeah. whatever mm -hmm. you can do they whatever want, you like. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, when did you start rolling sushi? Uh, about 10 years ago. And why, why sushi? I mean, uh, being well, a chef, you could make anything you, do anything, you wanted. But I, when I was younger, I always saw the sushi chefs up at the sushi bar and I always wondered, what, what are they doing behind there? Why is it, you know, yeah. what is their <laughs> magic? And everything's so colorful and fresh and just, it's different. And it's a different culture's food and it's a very healthy uh, culture's food. So Look at that. That one's one of my favorite. That's kind of like a Philly roll and it's one of my favorites. We've got cream cheese in the middle, right? Right. Okay, now let's talk about Octopi. Where are you guys located your hours? Tell me We're that. located in the Villa Shops of Polly's Island. You can catch us right across 217 Bistro. Okay. Our hours are Sunday, we are 12 to 9, closed on Mondays. Tuesday through Thursdays also is 12 to 9. Friday and Saturdays were 12 to 10. Now, you guys don't, they don't just do sushi, so we can they go. They do other stuff. They, they do. do. Okay. I'm just, about, I'm just not a sushi person. And that's I'm sorry. Okay. Guess what? Yeah. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I, <reckon laughs> I will not get any of this today. I no, but I'm talking about you guys do some other food as well. We also have yeah. pizzas and tacos. A little bit of unique things in between. We have deep fried deviled eggs, zucchini fries. Whoa. There's lots of different stuff to come and try out. Deep fried deviled eggs? Mm -hmm. Yes, we fill it with a smoked that. tomato bacon jam and then yeah. our own egg fillings that we make. Whoa. Yeah, I love they're amazing. They're really Sounds good. good to me. Now, Will, you're back there. You do the cooking as well mm -hmm. as the sushi, but a lot of times when you walk in, you're going to see him right there, and you kind of pride yourself on really fresh ingredients. Tell yep. me about what you do with that. Uh, well, I mean, I, I get fresh fish every day. We get local produce, and I try to, you know, just prep as much as I can every day for that day. Did it take then, you a long time to learn how to make it all? Yeah, it does. It takes quite a while. Rolling it isn't actually hard. The hard part is prepping it and getting to know your ingredients, knowing your fish, knowing how long you can keep stuff and, you know, how to serve it. How, to uh, keep how it. long have you been doing this? How long have you been About doing this? About 10 years. About 10 years? Yep. Oh, okay. Very and I tell nice. you, it's, it looks it's very, really pretty. It looks I, really great. I'm serious, <laughs> it does. Yeah. And uh, sushi lovers, I mean, they lo if you're a sushi lover, they love it. Absolutely. And you can't they tell do. them anything. That's yep. right. And, and it is. And I love it. I've been eating it sushi since I was probably four years old. So, <laughs> and this is good sushi. It's really fresh. And it's great to have you guys in Polly's yeah. yeah. where there's really not much sushi no. around. We absolutely yeah. love it. All right. We thank you guys. Yep. Yeah, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you for having us. We're going to have right. some sushi in just a second. <laughs> Y'all enjoy it. <laughs> All right. See you in a minute. And welcome back. Had a great show today. And, you know, and Amanda loves sushi. And I I've do. tried it before. I just can't get into it. That's okay. That's one of the no things. No big deal. Yeah. Now, I love spaghetti and meatballs. 
Oh, see, I like that too. Do we have sure. any? Wait, do you have any? <laughs> I don't have any with me, but I like it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, gosh. anyway. But yeah, we did. We had a great show today. And tomorrow, even more coming up. Um, we're going to talk, be talking about the taste of Polly's. So that's over yeah. supporting Father Pat's Kitchen down in Polly's Precious Blood. They also and do a the great Humane job. Society is here tomorrow with a pet of the day. They are. Maybe and a furry pet I'll get to take home. You never yeah. know. <laughs> There's Just a golf kidding. tournament coming up. Solid Rock Baptist Church putting together. We'll talk about that too. Plus a lot more. It's going to be an exciting Tuesday. Hope you're going to be here. That's right. You better be here. We'll be here at noon. Grab lunch, hang out, take your lunch break and tune in to see us. That's right. Have a we'll good see afternoon. You tomorrow. Have Stay a great dry. day, everybody. Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE 